Okay guys, this is Denzel from DRC. Yeah, DRC. And uh Yep, he's here to measure. Sinel measures the Mosia na offset la. Offset. Okay, he's here to measure the offset first. Um this is not because you haven't done 996. 996 I haven't done it. That's why I want to measure. Okay, okay. But you haven't done it for every time? For every time. So next time you have 996, you still have to measure? If it's 4S, you don't have to measure. Oh. Okay, okay. So the 996 Porsche, it has a wide body, same like the Turbo. All right, this is for facelift 996.2. You have the white body, but if it is the pre-facelift, uh, they have the C2S. They haven't launched a C4S back then. They have the C2S, and that is narrow body. So for every new model that, that they are doing, he has to measure the offset. The problem with my car is that you look at that giant spacer. Yup. So the previous guy just simply chucked a non-white body wheel with a spacer that is almost 2 inch at the back just to fill up the gaps which is nonsense, absolute nonsense So uh, that's why Denzel is here uh, Very professional, DRC and it's um, gonna measure the offset You can't have a spacer at home, man. This wheel is not for 4S. This wheel is for 2S, narrow body. Ah. Wait a minute, I need to put the spacer. Okay. Yeah. So, my car has been here, I mean, from the day the collection of the car, Prestige went and collected, and then they sent my headlamps to CSV Pro. And then TSB Pro sent the headlamps for polish. You see this came out really nice, very clear. But this one came out still murky. Then we discovered the entire housing has oxidized, has yellow. So there's no way we can polish our way to make it clear, as clear as that. So that's a problem. It's less of a problem in daytime when the lights are not on because the differences are minor but when it's night time when i turn on the lights right there is a distinct yellow tint coming out from this so i have to figure out a way either to buy one or i apply a yellow film or something just to have that classic porsche rally look uh yeah that's the pro doing his thing i don't understand what's that but uh he's the pro i'm not so he's measuring now, later on, we have to take out the wheels. Now, my BMW's wheels are by DRC as well. They are fantastic. And as you know, there's a lot of people using DRC now. I was surprised to even see uh, Lamborghinis, uh, Ferraris, GTRs. They're all turning to DRC for very unique design wheels because he's able to customize wheel design. So think of my, my BMW wheels, right? Before you see it on my car, that design has never been seen anywhere before. Because when we, when we sort of brainstorm what design to go for, right? I, I asked him, you know, uh, OZ, uh, not OZ, Roti form, they have those like really blocks going around the wheel. I kind of like that, but I don't like the, the entire wheel being covered flat. So we should have some spokes in there. And somehow they created a really nice design, and now this has become a thing. I saw a, I saw a R35 the other day using that sort of design, but different spokes. And uh, when they have a new design, they will go through the, I mean, basically the load testing simulation, simulated load testing to, to study whether it can handle the load or not. If it passes it, then they will produce the wheel because every single wheel is milled. From a single solid block of aluminium so that's how they created the wheels so you can have any design as long as it passed the load and the machine is able to basically mill it 
milling is like the reverse of 3D printing, right? So from a solid block, they cut, they cut it down. So I'm actually looking for the turbo twist wheels for this car, which is the classic look. But the standard wheel for this car is 18 inch. Now back then, 18 inch is nice, and I also prefer the ride quality of 18 inch wheels with a with a thick wall of the tire, which is which provides a very comfortable ride. And I'm not like an extreme driver, right? But if you have an 18-inch wheel these days, there are very limited tire choices that you can purchase, right? Very, very limited. So most of the USB tire starts from 19. Hence, uh, I might do 19-inch wheels on this car solely because of the inavailability of USB uh, tires. So uh, I wrap the rear part so that you can see the one you, you only see one straight stripe of lights at the back. Yeah. So now the staff from Prestige is helping us to remove the tires so he can do his proper measurement. Yeah, can't wait to drive the car. Uh, it's no longer this number plate. All right, I, I don't like this number plate at all. So uh, let's see. All right, so it's a very small car, very nice, small, tiny car. Uh, it's, it's smaller than an Audi TT, if you think about it, slightly, you know. It's a, it's a small car, a very small car. So look at the rear. I really like how this car looks from the rear, from this angle, right? I really like the, oh, I must get rid of the plates. I hate the plate. Um, Right, the single stripe tail lamp. You will notice a lot of 996, right, will have a chip on this part. I notice a few other 996 has a chip there. The reason being, if this car's battery ran out, you can't open the, uh, the bonnet, the frunk, and the battery is inside the frunk, right? So there is a little lever that you can use a clothes hanger in. They say, that's what I was told to pull that hook to pop open the hood that's why a lot of them crack the tail lamps there All right so yeah is the car too small for the for the thing yeah <laughs> it's too small it's too small it's too small it's too small it's too oh 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 Oh. oh yeah so I can't wait to show you guys what design we're coming out and uh, and uh, it's a long queue for DRC now so ordering two to three months two to three months queue wow because you make quality stuff that's why the queue is long right and uh prices you increase ma do you think slightly slightly yeah uh, average what's the transact value for like a 19 oh, inch or 20 inch 19 is somewhere around 8k la. 8k and they came from a solid block of aluminium yes, uh aluminium billet and then cnc yeah, and yeah. Forged. forged yeah so for forged wheels cnc that's really affordable but yet high quality and the designs are great yeah so let's see yeah that's the problem with short wheelbase <laughs> yeah now continue the video later all right i really like how the rear looks with a single stripe anyone doing led stuff can you let me know if there is any way for me to light up the entire rear if there is any way I would love to do that yeah <laughs> okay yeah. look at the spacer my god look at how huge is that <laughs> thank you bro <laughs>
Luckily, it's made out of alloy. Alloy, ah. It's steel, ah. I think I need to squeeze more. Uh,这个是他们叫什么,它的包还是什么? 明白。明白。然后这个叫什么？ Hub for those who don't understand, like me, I don't understand wheels, the hub, the ball, and all that because I don't modify cars. So he has to measure the clearance for the calipers and then the ball. And then the hub, the thickness, and of course the just to get an actual measurement so that the 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 wheel sits perfectly. A lot of aftermarket wheels they don't customize bores. Basically they have a universal bore and then when you apply it to different different cars they have to either drill the bore or have a replacement and all that. So you want to minimize all that layers of stuff to have a wheel that directly fits onto basically your car okay the clearance everything must be there so that it doesn't scrub you know and when you turn i can what i see here is that there's very little room very very little room all right for the rear of course it's deeper see this one is 285 but the offset is not correct all right so yeah it's doing the measurement now so business has been really good for DRC. Now orders will take two to three months, but he is uh, busy in uh, opening up a second branch in Cheras. His current branch is in PJ, so he's going to open one in Cheras and uh, to cater for more customers. Hopefully, they can do things faster, you know. And uh, yeah, yeah, very entrepreneurial guy. Very inspiring guy, you know, he's very young, but he's uh, started his own thing and he's so successful. I, I'm, and he gets down, do the dirty work himself. I really, really admire him. Very, very admire him, you know. Very entrepreneurial. Yep. Now, uh, Denzel is also one of the, the founders uh, of that popular media platform that talks about cars in Mandarin, RWD. Yep, they've been making excellent videos and uh, very, very nice their stuff. I just r really like their stuff that they're putting out. And uh, their presenter, Little Min, also. Uh, basically, I just love this bunch of young fellas. They, they, they are just so enterprising and doing things differently. So, yep, go follow RWD on Facebook or IG or TikTok or YouTube. You know, they. They talk about cars, but in Mandarin. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I am Chinese educated as well. I can speak Mandarin. Hopefully one day, uh, they're willing to do a crossover video together. Yeah. Hey, I can do a crossover video with Xiao Ming. Who is that? Who is that? I'm keep my own views. Yep. Yep. Uh, still some work. So far, I've sorted out the headlamps, but this one, I need, really need to sort this out. That is a pain. And then uh, the car is healthy, the engine is healthy, the transmission is healthy. I've done some really some things that I shouldn't do. See, 996, right? This part is actually part of the tail lamp, okay? For the white body cars, the tail lamp is different from the narrow body cars, all right? Uh, it's bigger, larger, you know. And um, I really like this look. This is a very popular mod for 996 4S because it has this single stripe uh, look to the rear. 
that reminiscent of the 993, the 930, the 964, the G series, you know. So I actually wrapped this part. As for the tail lamp, you see this entire thing is a tail lamp, right? The only part that lights up is this and this, this two. This is completely useless. So what I'm gonna do is to drill a little hole down there and put the indicator lights here, right? So that it lights up. The indicator would function over here and uh, we'll sort out the reverse lights, all right? So it's a, it's, a, it's a popular thing. What I need to do now, I wanna find ways to make this light up. If this thing can light up, and at night we'll see one whole stripe that lights up, it will be the look I'm going for. I want a black car that shows the the one strip tail lamp, which is very cool in my opinion. Uh, someone stick that during the upper toe drive. Forgot who was it? Was it Alex? Some somebody. And uh, as for the interior, maybe I'll go DK Leather and talk to them because they make the best. All right. So. The roof is done, it works now, perfect. And uh, can't wait to drive this car, can't wait. This will be my Evo Enduro 2023 car, okay? I Even though I love my, my 6 Series, but I will not bring that car again for now because for if not, it's gonna look like the same photos from last year. Okay, from this angle, you can clearly see, you can very clearly see the right headlamp is a lot clearer than the left headlamp, right? Yeah. Yep, it's done. Yeah, I know by wrench to use top wrench, right? But, but we're gonna use new nuts anyway. Uh, yep, the measurement is done. Then uh, Denzel will go back and get everything sorted. Um, it's better to remain 18 inch but 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 it's harder to buy USB tires 18 chun is not easy to buy USB tires two is easy to buy your holder two is easy to buy your holder two is easy to buy your Okay, 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 okay. So uh, if the rear is 285, 30, 19, it'll be very difficult to look for tires. So, but if it is 305, 30, 19, then it'll be easier to find tires. Yeah, that's the main concern now. Because for our market, uh, tire availability is always an issue.